Shalom, shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I'd like to say, call halal you. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Laka Kadash. Double honest to the, the elders and the apostles of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect. I came out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. I write and present that body as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do. I write Shalom to the very few sisters that do listen up as well. I'm the brother Yamari from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. And Kanasaba. All right, and basically we just coming back to you with another lesson. You know, how about Shimmy, how is Shai is being proven right on every single level. All right, on small levels, on big levels. All right, and the Lord is fighting this great battle for us, you know, as we fight the war on um, ignorance, you know, and these people and all they vain ideologies and all their thoughts and all their feelings that they have towards the brothers, towards the prophets, towards the men of the Lord, you know, and they really just hate you, how about Shimmy, how Shah as a whole, because that's all we stand for. We have to let these niggas get proven wrong, man. Let you how about Shimmy, how Shah show these niggas they wrong, man. I, I listen, man. I tell people all the time, one of the greatest motivators for me to stay in this truth is to just tell you stupid ass, unbelieving, coon ass niggas, you demonic ass nigga women, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has told you so, man. Draw the fucking line and stand on it, Akhir. That's it. And the Lord going, hey, it's like Elijah, man. Bring out your gods. And I'm going to show you mine. Go ahead, brother. Uh, this Proverbs 22 and 12. It says, the eyes of Yahweh preserve knowledge, and he overthroweth the words of the uh, transgression. Right. He's overthrowing the words of the transgression, man. That's like, a, you know how you get your woman? You know, the woman talk shit like Job's woman, man. She said, curse the most high and die, man. Job drew the line, man. He stood on his principle. Did he do that? Hell no. But these people, they naturally think that the men of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah are in the wrong. Because they've been unbelieving and wicked and wrong. For so long, what, what, what we have to say can't be right. As far as the way a man deal with a woman, as far as the way a man deal with his household, as far as the way he deal with his Akim, you know, keeping the laws, tasks, and commandments, he how about Shimmy how shy? Because wickedness has been running rampant so long, this couldn't be right. This just couldn't be right. Not this. You can't eat pork. You can't commit adultery. You know, I'm your woman and I can't run all over you. This, this couldn't be the right way. Get that Romans 3 and 3, brother. Hmm. Unless you had something else. No, I was thinking that. Hmm, that's the spirit. Uh, this Romans 3 and 3. Well, what if some did not believe? Should their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Uh. Yahweh forbid, yea, let Yahweh be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that uh, thou mightest be justified in thy sins, and mightest uh. overcome when thou art judged. So, hey, man. Uh, just because, you know, you don't believe in stuff like that doesn't mean, okay, it's not true. No, the stuff is going to uh, continue as they were. Whatever goes forth out of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh's mouth will not come back to him boy. Right. So if you, nigga woman, or whoever don't believe, cool. You you can't do anything against the truth but for the truth. Somebody right. got to be the unbelievers. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Somebody has to feel that lot yep. of unbelief, man. And the one-third... It's a large number, but it's still a small number. Everybody wasn't meant to get this. The scripture says a remnant shall return, man. So all these people are falling into their lies. All these people are falling into their undelusions. All right? The scripture tells you in the book of Second Edwards, not don't let not the incredulity of them, you know, get to you. You know, that un unfaithfulness, that unbelief. Mm -hmm. You know, because then if you be into them, they won't think you believe. Mm -hmm. And the thing, everything you ever did was a, a farce anyway. They, they, these, these unbelievers want to take you down and they misery and they misery and they unbelief. Misery loves company. Oh, yep. Hey, why you think, right? When you're in the truth and you were the bitch, right? The first thing she got some shit to talk about is the brothers. They hate that. They hate the camaraderie. They, they, they hate the camaraderie. They hate the love. They hate all that, man. They hate everything about it because it's real. Mm -hmm. 
and they know what they got going on with their they relatives and they real so-called family, it's fake, you know? But what binds the brotherhood is the law, statutes, and commandments to Yahweh, Bashim, and Yahweh Shai, and the truth, and the spirit, the comforter. That's what binds the brotherhood. And these people, they ain't seen nothing like it, man. When we go out there on the line, they ain't seen nothing like it. When we go to the club or the bar, whatever, you know, you could be in the uh, fucking Walmart. They never seen nothing like it. But, and they look demonic ass head because the Lord gave them a strong delusion. They cannot believe it's true. But as we just read, one of some did not believe. It was people, they have let these motherfuckers go, man. If they don't want to believe, to hell with them, man. Get that Revelation 22 and 11. 10. Because Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shaz is about to come back and eradicate this place. Man, the scriptures say elect from the, from the predestined, according to the predestination. This is predestination. Hey, with the most high made crooked, can, can no man make straight? The Lord hates these people, man. He has it in for these people, man. Who are you to save them? Go ahead. It's uh, Revelation 22 and 10. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for uh, the time is at hand. He, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Mm -hmm. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Like the brother said before, man, hey, uh, everybody got to fall into their lot, man. And then uh, the scriptures say after two admonitions, reject. Because it lets you know that, you know, there's some to be wicked. There's some to be righteous, man. That's right. You don't know because his sheep hear his voice, man. Those are the righteous, man. Right. The Lord ain't trying to get us to save. Now, you can say something else? No, I was saying uh, hey, the ones that endure to the end, those are the ones that are the righteous still. That's right. The Lord ain't ain't set us out here. The Lord set us out here to cry upon him so he can save us. Yep. Not to save these wicked ass niggas and niggas. And you know, that could be your kid, that could be your woman. You know, that that, that could be anybody, man. It could be your, your cousin, Pookie. Look, man, the Lord ain't dealing with these niggas, man. That's why he said for it is set. But they got a strong delusion that they should believe a lie in Thessalonians. And Isaiah, he said, for this reason, I'll choose their delusions. Let the Lord prove these niggas. Let the Lord prove us right. We got to stand on him, man. You know, the world. It's, it's, it look, look, at, look at what incites these people, man. Look at the music that incites them. Look at the vibration. that, the, And he, you, you going to let these niggas believe that they right, man? Fuck these goddamn niggas, man. You got something else? Uh, I was taking one minute. Hey, man, it's just like the prophet Elijah came out, man. Bring out your gods, and I'm going to bring out mine. Where they at? Taking a bath? These niggas in the Islam, Taoism, Confucianism, African spirituality, Pan-Africanism. These niggas into all type of weird shit, man. A nigga will do anything but serve you how about Shemmy how shy. And we going to serve you how about Shemmy how shy and do nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. We ain't going to cater to a motherfucking needs. We ain't going to cater to their feelings. We going raw, man. Fuck that shit, man. Now, it's a balance to everything, but fuck that, man. I want to prove to the whole world that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is with the apostles, the elders, the brothers of Great Millstone, man. I want to strengthen that conviction. And, and my first route to doing that is not giving a fuck about what a person think or believe. And that comes with putting off the old man. That comes with just saying, fuck it, man. Yep. Let the Lord fight for you, man. Let the Lord, how about shit, how about shot, so these niggas, they ain't shit, and we are. Yep. Let's go. This second is just nine and nine. There we go. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. Mm. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Mm. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. You niggas ain't gonna have no excuse, man, because the Lord, uh, it, the doors of repentance is closing, it's closing fast, man. And hey, if you ain't receiving it, you ain't gonna have no excuse because we've been out here. 
That's out right. here. That you heard you was a Hebrew Israelite. Whether you heard it from us or you heard it to some uh, so, wicked niggas. niggas. Yeah. In the world, like high school and all the other people. You know what Look, I'm saying? Look, man. So, no excuse. You marched, man. A lot of you people are marched for death, man. Yeah. You are marched for death, man. And, and you people keep tempting the Lord, man. Don't let these people tempt the Lord. They gon' we're well, not not that. That's not what I'm trying to say. Let these niggas think that they can play with the Lord. Let these niggas think fat meat is greasy. The scriptures say, yeah, think it's sweet. After two or three admonitions rejected, man, we not here to save the world. We here crying and sign for the abominations that that's done in the midst thereof. And if you ain't crying out, you can sit in with the rapist, with Esau, with the murderer. You ain't crying out. If, if these people want to enjoy this present evil world, have a nice day. Y'all about to me how I about to lift up a standard and he about to flex. And I can't wait, man. To hell with these unbelievers, man. Let them perish in their unbelief, man. Let them perish in their unbelief, man. Let them perish in their unbelief. You know? The how about shit me how is dealing with you, brothers. You know? And let him deal with you, brothers, man. And let him exalt you. He breaks you down. He exhausts you. He he does, man. He's the Lord, man. He's about to give us the greatest victory that's ever to be won, man. We ain't down here to save no fucking knuckleheads, man. Yeah. You know, it was just something that was on my spirit, man. I had another one, but it slipped my mind. I ain't really got nothing else unless the brother got something. Nah. All right. With that being said, all right, we like to say, call Halalia, Yahweh, Vashem. Yeah, I was shy by Hashem, Rakad Kadash. A double honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. All right. That taught us this truth. And Shalom and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.